Good day, people. This is Richard here. It's a Saturday afternoon, about 2 p.m. And we're really excited because we've got the Wallabies playing against the Springboks this afternoon, coming to you from Perth, where we live. And we love our meat. And so what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be cooking a slow-cooked pork rib special with vegetables. But before I get onto that, I'd like to have a big shout out to the meat that we buy, and it's very, very important that you find a very, very decent butcher in your area with high quality meat that is healthy. It's got a good marble on it, and it's healthy, and it's, it's good grain meat. So what we do is we buy our meat, and you can see over here, this is on the side track, because we, tonight we're gonna to be cooking slow cooked pork ribs. But yeah, here's an example of the kind of meat that we, we get. Um, from our butcher. We've chosen a very special butcher in Beaumaris Shopping Centre, which is in Ocean Reef in Perth. And that's beautiful. I mean, look at these. These are ribeyes on the bone, you know, 850 grams per ribeye. They vacuum packed it, very high quality, you know, grass fed meat. And that's what's very, very important. I forgot to give a, a good shout out to the butcher that we've chosen in Beaumaris Shopping Centre, which is CJ's. You know, here, here we've shown you earlier, I've showed you earlier the, the beautiful steaks that they vacuum pack for you, uh, really good quality. But here's some really, really good quality pork ribs. Uh, the name of the company is CJ's. They do a wonderful job. They've got all the other accessories. They use proper gourmet salt, um, which is really, really good quality. And obviously, other, lots of other just different accessories that they, they, they give you, as well as rubs for your meats. But we bought these marinated. And as I said, tonight we're going to be cooking slow, slow cooked in a hot pot here, ribs with vegetables. Okay. So what I've done for tonight is because we know we've got eight hours before the rugby, probably 10 hours before the rugby, is I, I like to keep things simple. So what I've got in this pot here is some vegetables. We try and keep things simple, as I said earlier. We've just got carrots in there. We've got some potatoes in there. And a, very, very light vegetables inside this pot. Later on, we'll be putting some some mushrooms over the top of the of, over the ribs, but because they cook a lot quicker and they add, add a lot of um, liquid to to the dish. But these beauties are going to go inside this pot and they're going to cook for six to eight hours at slow heat. And then we're going to be ready for that rugby game, and it's going to be falling off the bone. It's going to be delicious. And we can't wait for that rugby. You know, whoever wins that game. Good luck, but I tell you what, it's going to be a cracker of a game, the first game of the rugby championship, and we can't wait. See you later.